Okay, we're not quite there yet, but you might be able to see the uh, little black, black band uh, of ground in front of us. It goes to the left or the, the south about 10, 15 miles and goes north as far as the eye can see. I'm not sure which mountain produced the, the lava. Maybe it will tell us up here, probably some signage up here will tell us. But uh, yeah, it's a huge lava field up here. And because it's so dark, I would say it's fairly recent than some other places I've been. Okay, Valley of Fires Recreation Area. Bureau of Land Management. So I guess it's a federal. I thought it was a state, but apparently it's a federal place. So let's see. Might be a fee area, I just don't know for sure. Stop. Yeah, it looks like it's some kind of a fee area. Okay, day use like three bucks or something. Single person, three dollars a day. Crap, do I have three dollars? Mm. That's a question. Do I have three? Yes, I do. Perfect. One, two, three. Now then, how do I pay? Fees, camping, <laughs> okay. Okay, let me go grab an envelope and pay for this. Okay, pay her three bucks. Suck like is mainly just picnicking and camping. Maybe there'll be some vistas here. But we're surrounded by lava. some walking places here. I'll just kind of drive by here slowly so you can get an idea. Goes on for miles though. Store. Visitor information. Eh, look, a good place to camp. It's not far from town. So, oh, restrooms. Cool. I'll stop there on the way back. It's not very big. There's a little place up here to park and you can hike to the top of the hill. I would get a great view from up there. Let's see how far I can go here. As we come around this corner, we're basically facing south toward Alamogordo. Like I say, it goes on this way for about a oh, good 10-15 miles. I first started noticing that as we came up north. You can go on Google Earth and you can see this whole thing. Vehicle turnaround loop. Okay, this is about as far as I can go apparently. Let's see. Camping area, no motorhomes or trailers, one way traffic only. Well, maybe I can drive through here. Big wall of lava there. Nice place for a tent, actually. Yeah, 
I used to have a tent and did tent camping when I wouldn't fit on those little pads. It was a pretty good sized tent. Not too hot today. It's supposed to get supposed to get pretty warm this afternoon, but uh, my thing says 75, so it's toasty, but not terrible yet. Hey, we're we're in the middle of a lava field. Yucca plants everywhere. Cactus. Anyway, I've driven by this place half a dozen times, never have stopped. But here is a good place to pull in, maybe take a pit stop. So I will do that and turn you off. Okay, back. Anyway, if you're a camper and in this part of New Mexico, it's, it's like it's well maintained, the restrooms are clean, and campsites are nice and neat and tidy, and so it'd be a good place to stop. Unless you gotta have shade, it's not too good for shade. They do have, um, the picnic tables are covered at least, so that's nice. Let's see, do I want to stop at the bookstore? I can't think of any reason why I need to. We'll probably just have a lot of information about the history of the area and maybe which volcano it came from. And well, maybe I'll look and just find that out, just for knowledge. Let's see, as long as it's not too hard to get into. We'll see. Restrooms and showers, so there are showers here. So you're not exactly roughing it. Oh, looks like you got a hike down to that thing. Let me see what we got to deal with here. Yeah, I gotta go down some steps or something. I think I'm gonna Well it's closed anyway. Okay, we'll just Google it if we want to find out. Find out more information. Closed. Okay. And this is pointing north. As you can see, the lava bed just goes on and on. So, I, I can't tell which. I'm thinking. Maybe one of these mountains over here is where the volcano, where the lava came from. I don't see any real indication of that. If you look on Google Earth, you might be able to figure it out. Anyway, we're back to the entrance now, so I'll turn you off. And turn you back on when I find the next area of civilization. Might be Vaughn, which is about 70 miles up the road.